Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Johnny. Today we're going to be talking about some brand new features in the Power BI Paginated Report Builder. So then, this is a bit of an impromptu video. I hadn't planned on actually doing a video this week. As you know, my recent videos have been focused around paginated reports. And so partway through me filming that series, what do Microsoft do? Yep, they've released a new version of Report Builder. Now it's not very often that Report Builder gets an update, so this is a bit of a rare event. One of the first things I've done is check out those new features to make sure it doesn't invalidate the videos that I've shot already. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I'll put a link to the series up here. And the good news is, yep, all of those videos are still valid. Nothing's broken, nothing's different in terms of the way that Paginated Report Builder is now working. But whilst I've been checking these new features out, I figured I may as well hop on and take you through them. So. I'm shooting this video on Friday the 4th of June 2021 with the new version of Paginated Report Builder having been released on Wednesday the 2nd of June. And the first feature of note is that the Paginated Report Builder is now available through the Microsoft Store. Let's have a look. Now here I am in the Microsoft Store and if I go to the search bar in the top right hand corner, let's search for Power BI. Now that doesn't seem to bring back a paginated report builder option. Let's try a different search term. Maybe report builder. Nope, nothing there. Paginated reports maybe. Again, nothing. Now I'm based in the UK and as at Friday the 4th of June, it appears that for this region, that paginated report builder is still not available in the Microsoft Store. So does that mean if you're in the UK, you can't get a hold of it? And the answer is that there is a way to get around this. So if I go to the Power BI blog site, this is the announcement of that new Power BI report builder. If I click this link here, let's go to the Microsoft Store app. then it seems that navigating to that US store does allow you to download it. And this is exactly what I did. Um, I was able to uh, connect to the US store, even as a UK resident, and that allowed me to download the report builder from there. So why is this good news? Well, I'm gonna assume that the way that the uh, report builder app works is gonna be the same way as the Power BI desktop app works. And that if you download it from the store and run it as an app, then any updates you're gonna get automatically in the background. So once you have managed to download that, what's actually different in Report Builder itself? Let's go take a look. So first impressions are that nothing really has changed. It's pretty much the Report Builder that we already know. But the eagle-eyed amongst you may well spot we have a new tab. Up here we now have a data tab. If we click on that, we now have this very Power BI looking ribbon where you've got uh, quick access buttons to be able to connect to data sources. Now my first impression of this was that it was just going to be a cosmetic change. It looks a bit nicer, it looks a little bit more like Power BI, um, but beyond that, you know, is it really much use? But in actual fact, the user experience has changed as well. If I select one of these data options, and I'm going to go with a Power BI data set, because that's what we've been using so far in our uh, paginated report gotchas course. If I click on that, it connects me to the Power BI service so I can select my data set, which is nothing different so far. But once that's selected, it takes me to the window to create my data set. Previously, those two steps were independent. So first you had to define your data source, which was essentially just the connection to your data. And with that defined, then you had to right click and create the data set separately. Now, it flows a little bit more intuitively. Once you create a data source connection, it automatically takes you through to the data set creation window. So a good little productivity gain there. And it's in this data set window that we see the final new feature. Now, again, this is pretty subtle, but previously this white query box in the middle was grayed out and you couldn't do any editing in this box. Now, so far, I've been encouraging people to use the Query Designer when creating datasets using uh, Power BI datasets. 
Personally, I think that as a beginner, that's the easiest method to use. However, once you get a bit more comfortable using paginated reports, I'd absolutely encourage you to start using your own custom DAX. Previously, if you wanted to add custom DAX to a report, you had two choices. You could either go to the query designer and select this design view up here. And once you click that, you'd add your DAX into this text box here. Or you could put custom DAX in using this expression button where you define your custom DAX here. But the new experience is you can paste your custom DAX directly into this box now. So if like me, that's your preferred method. It's now quicker and easier to do. So there you have it, a little bit of an upgrade to the report builder. Fingers crossed, things won't stop there. Hopefully Microsoft will continue to add to it as a product. I think as paginated reports get more and more use within the Power BI community, hopefully there will be a little bit more incentive for the development team over at Microsoft to keep adding these little improvements. And whilst the improvements that have been added on this release might seem quite minor, I think you'll be quite surprised how useful they'll be in terms of uh, helping with your productivity. So I hope that's been useful. As always, if you've got any questions or feedback, please don't be afraid to slide them into that comment section below. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along for more Power BI content, please do subscribe to the channel. I do really appreciate it. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.